If this is the Lumsden River House? Yeah. It's this one on the right, killed him. This is probably the strangest room here so far. So there is blood in here. Allison, can you please say the name of the man who murdered you? <laughs> Whoa, what the What's going on guys? So I just commuted all the way here. Oops, I just hit the tripod. So I just commuted all the way here from dance. It took about maybe four or five hours to get here to London. The reason being I'm flying out. They've extended this lockdown for another month. And as much as I like Dan, I don't think I can stay with Dan for another month. Nah, I'm just playing around. I could, Dan's a really chill guy. But I really just want to go home around this time in need. I mean, I thought the lockdowns would end here around April 7th, that the, that's what they originally said. And I thought, hey, that's great. After that, I can film for a week or something and then fly back. Since it's not happening, I'm deciding to just go back home anyway. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, can I really go back home? Well, after further research, you know, I called the embassy up. They told me what to do and they recommended I just book a normal flight. It looks like some airlines, such as British Airways, which I'm taking, they allow American citizens to fly back to the States. The thing is, they only do one flight per day. And if that information was valuable and there's an American that you know is stuck in the UK, let him know. Today's video is gonna be an amazing exploration, as always. I didn't know whether to release this or not because it is a haunted exploration. But here's the thing. Last video got some pretty good feedback and it's hitting over 30,000 views and counting. So I figured that, hey, I think you guys actually like it. I also got a lot of feedback to do more. So here you guys go, enjoy this haunted video. But before we begin, I just wanted to say a big thank you to today's sponsor. And today's sponsor goes to Raid Shadow Legends. During this entire lockdown, I've been stuck indoors and all I've been doing is playing this game. Funny enough, they reached out to me a week ago and wanted to do a collaboration. And I said, hell yeah. I mean, I'm a huge fan of their game and here's why. The game takes you to a dark fantasy world with amazing graphics. Most importantly, Raid is free and can be played cross device as developers rolled out a PC version of the game. It also has a daily login reward system for new players which has been doubled from 90 to 180 days. Each day you can claim your free rewards that range from energy refills, silver and gems, to shards, even champions, such as the free barbarian legendary champion called the Sile of the Drake. Now there's tons of campaigns to choose from. My most favorite it has to be the battle campaign where you can increase XP of new characters and enjoy a fully voiced story. Come play and you can find me in the game under the nickname Steve Ronan. What are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, one energy refill, 50 gems, and better yet, one free champion called the Executioner. This isn't your ordinary champion. I mean, look at this guy right here. Now you're gonna find your rewards right up here in the corner in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Anyway, that's that. Now before we begin the video, don't forget to leave a massive thumbs up. Enjoy. In today's video, we explore a haunted abandoned mansion with history of a gruesome murder. Evidence is still left behind as blood can be seen in a bedroom. Oddly enough, articles and news reports point to a different mansion just down the street, which may be believed to be a cover-up. Could this be the real mansion where the murder took place? I set out to find the real answers with a team of paranormal investigators. If this is the Lumsden Murder House? Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Is it more real to go in though, mate? No, no, yeah. yeah no well, worries. There's a, a house around, living in it. So. There's a house around the corner. The and it's also, got blood stains on the floor. There's also blood stain in the master bedroom. But it's this one, right? Okay. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's this one on the right. He killed him. Alright. Fucking hell. 
Dude, you can't take pictures, mate. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Oh. Take pictures. All right, sorry, sorry. sorry. All right. What you do when I'm not here is not an issue. <laughs> all right, all right. No worries. Well, just wondering, right, is this a residential house now? Or what, yeah, it's what? a residential house now. One of the United players lives in it. Football lives in it. Football lives in it? A footballer. Oh, Man United really? footballer, yeah. Okay, good to know. All right, no worries. Thank you. Cheers. And now we're here. All right. Uh... So this is how the front of this mansion looks like. This was actually a Victorian style mansion. So many clothes just left in the front lawn. Man, it's pretty old, huh? There's some roots growing all around it now. Yeah. This is like the typical haunted house. You're just discovering the woods or something. Yeah. Here we go, we're going in. have been here before. Carl and I, we've never been. So I'm curious myself to see how this mansion looks like. So I'll show you guys most of the rooms first. Before we get to this room, I think it's the bedroom that has apparently blood in it. because those stairs collapsed on me the first time I came in. Is it that part right there yeah. where it collapsed? <laughs> I took a step and Oh man. This is probably the strangest room here so far. All over the walls have like this weird message on them and it makes no sense whatsoever. Seen jungle truth or dare power. There's also crash shoot, go fight, win. There's hide and seek love. Combat. And down over here it says camouflage flash dragons. Leave a comment down below if you can figure out why the walls say these words. I guess there's like a hookah here. It's nowhere now. Someone probably stole it. And there's a book here saying, Guess how much I love you. Here's one of the bathrooms. Now, over here is the main hallway. And this wall is kind of strange too. You got like a zebra design on it. I don't know, whoever uh, designed the place or styled it head. Pretty weird style. Right, we're heading upstairs now. We got some more zebra wallpaper. You got Carl in this natural habitat. Yeah. Dark spooky abandoned places. <laughs> <laughs> Doing his thing now. Look at that. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You slow the zoom speed down, so basically you zoom in. Oh, and I know you, you zoom mean. out, and then you walk, you walk towards right. it. So that gives it that like. There's effect. a name for it, but I forget. Yeah, I know what you mean though. All right, so we got two hallways on the second floor. Guess I'll start over here. Whoa! Pretty large bathroom. So far, all the rooms are completely empty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, walk 
happens when you try the UV light on. Well, theoretically, if I shine the UV light on it, either if it's not blood, here, let me come stand closer. I'm going to, right, let's just get good shots, whoever wants it. Theoretically, what's going to happen, according to my research, is if I turn out the lights and I shine the UV light on this, either if it's not blood, you're not going to see it. It's just going to be blended in with the rest of the wood. So it should give off a greenish look. Or you're going to still be able to see it and it's going to be a dark purple. All right? So lights out. Olivia, come right up close. See? It shines. It's got a dark purple, a blackish purple. If it wasn't blood or any kind of human, it would basically blend in with everything else on the floor. Can you see that? I can see it. Can you get closer over here? Just show them that that is still visible on camera. Alright? That means it's some kind of human or DNA related fluid on the floor. So there is blood in here. So I guess our next step would be to try some spear fox. I mean, that's what led me here in the first place. So let's do this. Let's figure this out. If you don't mind right now. Well, that's all I wanted to know if that was like real blood or not, and it's real blood. So I'm just baffled, and I don't know like what the hell happened here because nothing makes sense now. It doesn't. I mean, do you think it's possible, bro, that there was two murders? One in the other house and one here that's not documented. Well, yeah, that's the only thing I'm thinking right now, too. I guess potentially two murders or the security guard was lying, lying to us. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, my conspiracy side is telling me that it could be a conspiracy that the woman, woman wasn't mar uh, murdered in there. She was murdered here. And uh, yeah. that's, I don't know, that's what I think. I mean, I don't know, man, I do get a creepy vibe in there. It kind of feels sinister. <laughs> But I don't know, man. I reckon there's a lot of conspiracy stuff going on right now. Who knows? Um, what was I gonna say? Look, I'm just, I'm just confused by all this. I'm still leaning towards the conspiracy side. I've, I've seen a lot. Now, listen. When I first came in here, right? When I first discovered this place, this carpet was still down, right? I'm, I'll admit it. I'm the one that pulled up this carpet and found this, right? And we were live on camera weren't we? And I have proof of that from our last documentary. I did not stage any of this. We were literally live when we made this discovery. So it's just, it's baffling. So as you know, Andrew is a professional ghost hunter. He has all of the equipment and we're gonna be using this thing called the ghost radio, which he'll be explaining. Are you recording? Yeah. He's a professional ghost hunter? Should I say Ooh. not professional? He is a professional. <laughs> yeah. He's a professional. I'm good at what I do. <laughs> I will explain myself. So. Is that Britney Spears? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. So, um, basically, everybody who's watched Ghost Adventures knows what spirit box is. It's a radio that sweeps through stations automatically. Before the spirit box, though, how you discovered the ability to speak through radios or radio frequencies was people turning dials manually with radios. Then they invented spirit boxes. I do it the old fashioned way, right? We believe spirit can manipulate audio to speak and uh, say what they need to say. Um, I like to use validation technique where rather than listening for random samples and trying to piece together a story, I ask for words to be repeated back to me. And once I get multiple words repeated back to me, um, during the session to answer my questions, that's more validation that it is something paranormal. What are you smiling about? <laughs> I've just heard that spiel so many times. Because every time we work with someone new, I have to explain it, don't I? Alright, um, you filming? Yes. Alright. <laughs> right. For the spirit of Allison, who came forward to me, who guided me to this blood stain on the floor, I'm so oh, confused oh, right oh, now. Bro, oh, what is? Can, can, you, can you? That was a plan. Oh, oh, right, it's all good. I'll slow down, guys. Yeah, <laughs> just here in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's the loudest plane. 
Yeah, it sounds weird. That sounds like someone's dragging something. Do you know how it sounds like? You don't even turn a boiler on. Yeah. It's just like that rumble of a boiler, but it sounds like a boiler gone bad. <laughs> it's gotta be a trick. Yeah, well, just eliminate that sound. All right. Could the spirit of Allison, who came forward to me the first time I ever came here and guided me to this bloodstain on the floor, claiming to be Allison Lumsden, who was stabbed 61 times, could you please come forward and answer some questions, because I'm so confused. We're being told that the murder house is down the street and not this one, but all the clues clearly point to this one. Allison, if you're there, could you clearly say your name for me? Come forward. Not deal. about right Allison are you here can you just say Allison for me <laughs> Allison were you stabbed here can you say stabbed for me please if you were stabbed here <laughs> Did you just hear you were tricked? I think so. I did. Is there something else here tricking me? What's going on? go through these responses um, after after this film and when I'm editing this video and find out what is being said because this is actually quite clear. Shut the door and something I heard I heard oh, I heard someone like he was obsessed with me. Yeah, yeah I heard that. He was obsessed with me. Allison, were you murdered here? Yes or no? Yeah, a lot of these uh, words that's been coming out kind of match the whole entire story mm -hmm. of what happened. I want to try it out myself. Yeah. Yeah, I want to ask a question. Yeah, go ahead. Go see. This is pretty interesting to me. As you know, I don't normally go do these paranormal activity stuff. So, yeah. Let's try this out. Alright. So, I, this is my own personal antenna, so it doesn't stick in. So, when you hold it, three fingers on the bottom, these two holding the antenna in place. Okay? Yeah. There you go. And just like hold it comfortably in your hand. Next, okay. grab the knob. Uh -huh. And what you're going to do is slowly twist it about that speed all the way through. So ask a question first and then twist. Let me just turn the volume up for you. All right. So, so if you can do so, it. So, so far, what have we heard? Stab me quietly. Stab She was found dead. Um, things like that. Okay. Even heard the word revenge at one point. All right. Hmm. Allison, can you please say the name of the man who murdered you? I just thought I heard it. Yeah, I think I heard it. This is first. Did you say Christopher? Yeah, it's getting really 
static, you know. You did well though. Oh, it's because the antenna fell out. Oh, shit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> First day on the job, guys. Another yep. tip while, uh, before you get started. There you go. Don't, don't let the music play too long because it's copyright strike. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're on the station, make sure you're on the station. Gotcha. All right. What's another question you should ask? Um, you can ask her a simple one. Do you need help? If so, say help me. Okay. <clears throat> Allison, do you need help? Are you in peace? Peace, then why are you here? I think so. It sounded like going to die. What? <laughs> Who's going to die? I'll give it back to Andrew, like, I suck at using this. <laughs> yeah, first time I did good. Alright, cool, cool. Alright everyone, so that's the music radio with Andrew, but of course we also have another professional, professional <laughs> paranormal ghost hunter here. Carl from Dark Arts Paranormal. He's got the, the, what's it called? PSP 7 Spirit Box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that sounds very high tech. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it out. So we'll just use Andrew's spirit box. Obviously, we've got different... Fucking hell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck board. Just, just, I know it's I know it'd be good for his video to announce what you're doing. But have you thought about, again, like, for Endorse MX, not just doing it and not even telling people what you're doing. They already know what happened. They just watched it. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh -huh. just, just a thought. I was trying to help you because you were asking about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. changing things up in your videos. Have you thought about just doing it? <laughs> Let people figure it out for themselves. Uh, cool. Or you can do it your way. I don't care. I'm not trying to get in your face or anything. But Yeah. No, it's a good idea. Just go for it. So, like, so flash. Flash. <laughs> I mean, like, you, you just... Whoa, there's a clash going on right now. Like, think about it. You're like, okay, so we just use Andrew's spirit box. It's like, the person watches it's like, yeah, uh, I just watched. <laughs> 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 like, bro, let's get the show up, bro. All right, These go. are how ghost hunters fight, guys. Come <laughs> 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 Well, let's see. Who can get the best evidence from the spirit? Andrew or Carl? What the fuck? We're all in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a REM pod down. What we believe to be blood on the floor. So, wait a so, yeah. So, Steve, this is this is pretty much new to you right now. Yeah. So basically, this device on the floor gives off like a an electromagnetic field. So if anything is to come into its area field and it goes off, uh -huh. it could be potential spirits. Okay. So we're gonna try and get some interaction going on with this. We've got some interesting stuff from Andrews. Uh, spirit box, but we're going to try on the PSP server as well and see what kind of stuff we get. Let's just see if we can draw it out. Hopefully, this is well, it sounds pretty fun. But I know we're learning a bunch of stuff here, and you guys are probably not familiar with these ghost stuff because we're always going on explorations. Um, but okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the ghost box while we use this thing to ask questions too, and um, we have to do it in dead silence. And yeah, maybe we'll we'll get a, a voice. 
on this thing and if anything this thing will kind of back up evidence if it goes off that there's a spirit around here so yeah let's do this if there's a spirit in here can you give us your name do i just keep asking more questions or how long do i wait for 10 seconds in between questions and then you just ask the next question okay <clears throat> Is your name Allison? What are those noises? Yeah, I hear something. I heard like crunching and I almost thought I heard a woman's voice. I thought someone was like eating or chewing something in their mouth. Try one more question. Okay. Um, were you murdered here? If so, who was the one who murdered you? What was his name? If you were murdered by this person, why did he murder you? Okay, I think those are, yeah. Should be good because, uh... <clears throat> All right, guys, so, yeah, I think those are good enough questions to ask. Yeah. If there's a spirit in here, can you give us your name? Do I just keep asking more questions? Or how long do I wait for? 10 seconds in between questions. And then you just ask the next question. Okay. <clears throat> Is your name Allison? What are those noises? Yeah, I hear something. I heard like crunching around. I almost thought I heard a woman's voice. I thought someone was like eating or chewing something in their mouth. Were you murdered here? If so, who was the one who murdered you? What was his name? person, why did he murder you? Okay, I think those are, yeah, should be good. Because, uh... Steve's got some uh, interesting questions. Yeah, I've been asking a lot of questions. Yeah. We should all take turns asking questions. Yeah, I think you should go first though. Alright, I'll go first. This is the spirit box, huh? Yeah, man. So, all right. So each of us are gonna be asking a question. I guess I'll go first. Um, what was that? No, 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 no one in control. Oh my God, it's going it's really active right now. All right. Was there a murder that happened here? We are trying to solve this blood stain on the floor in this bedroom. Can you help us trying to find out the answers? Can you tell us if there was a murder here? That is so much activity now. It was me. Holy crap. Who's me? Who tells your name? Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, what the hell? Screaming, bro. Bro, that's so holy shit. Holy shit. Bro, I'm getting goosebumps. Alright, Dan, it's your turn to ask a question. Yeah, I'm joking, bro. Nah, bro, you got this, you got this. You've been taking turns. Dude, he's not doing straight in the middle. Dude, he's first of all. Dude, he's first of all. That was you screaming, dude. It's the middle screen. It's a shame. 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 Help from what? What do you need help with? He said help me again. Okay. Alison, if you're here now, try to say your name, Alison. Guy in his bedroom. Yes, yes. Yeah. It just said yes. Yeah. For real. Guys, did you hear that? It just said yes. You saw the footage. You saw. You saw the footage. Like, well, we did do research before this. Yeah. Why did you kill her? So if it's in his room, can you, can you start, try to set the device off behind the one we've been right on the floor? Where we believe the blood on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna put this right next to the blood stain. Wow guys, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty baffled by this experience. You know, I've never done this ever before, but we're gonna head out now. It's getting late. We have more spots to be filming too. Um but yeah, pretty interesting location. And I'm glad I got to do this with some cool paranormal investigators, Dark Arts Par- oh. I'm proving demons, by <laughs> the way, not Dark Arts. <laughs> proving Shows. demons Shows. and Dark Arts Paranormal. And of course, well, explorer, fellow explorer, Dan, one of the fighters. Guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts about this whole entire experience. Like, what do you think about this story? Yeah, that's all we know about. And hopefully, it can be figured out. But until next time, leave a live of Freedom Water, and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.